Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist sculptor and today we're going to make an artsy ladybug on a leaf. Now the reason why I say artsy is because the ladybug will not be red but bronze. And uh, we're going to start off by making the leaf and we're working in uh, polymer clay and this is Sculpey 3 brand. Um, start off with chunk of clay and we're rolling it into a ball like this. I'm going to start rolling it in a, uh, a cone shape like this and then I'm going to start to squeeze it to flatten it and as I'm doing that I'm kind of curving it a little bit to give it some life shaping it to be the shape of a leaf and now what I'm doing is I'm starting to flatten it further but I'm also squeezing the edges to kind of sharpen them Just doing it gradually. Another thing you can do to keep this from being wavy is uh, to draw your finger along it like that. And just to kind of keep it smooth and uh, uniform. We want to we want to squeeze the the edges to make them uh, thinner than the rest of the leaf. Just so it looks willowy and uh, leafy. So now I'm, I'm curving it to kind of give it a nice smooth flowing appearance and then I'm going to have this end kind of come back so it looks like that. And then running my finger along the edge to uh, make it nice and uniform along the edge. Right now, I'm going to take a sculpting tool like this and put a line going from one end to the other. Basically, just carving a line like that. Once I have it in, I can go back and smooth it out. Like that. And now I can take the, uh, the knife, set it in the, uh, in the, in that line, and rock it back and forth to kind of open it up a little bit. Just take your time. I mean, there's no reason to rush. You can use this almost as a form of meditation, really. Now you can take your, your uh, thumb or a finger and draw it on the inside and just sort of open that up a little bit. Make it nice and smooth.
and just sort of just smooth it out. You want this line to be nice and smooth and flowing. If you're new to this, practice is the most important thing for you. Now you can take that same tool and put in lines going this way. They don't have to be a certain distance apart. On this side, kind of stagger them a little bit from these lines. Like that. Now you can lay it on the table like this and uh, take a little bit, like maybe a ball of clay like this here, and just put, prop it up a little bit like that. Once you get it sitting the way you like, come back around to this side and blend it in to the leaf. And that will be just a little stand for it to, to stand up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the ladybug. I'm going to make mine fairly small so that um, it just looks more realistic. But you can make it any size that you want. I'm going to flatten one side on the on the table. Okay, once you've got it flat on one side like that, you can take a, a, another smaller bit of clay. And this is going to be for the head of the uh, ladybug. And you can just add it to um, the body like that. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to take a uh, little bit of Sculpey Bacon Bond. I'm going to decide where I want to put it on the um, on the leaf, like maybe right there. I think this head is a little big, so I'm going to take it off again. We roll the dragonfly. I mean, not the dragonfly, the um, ladybug. Flatten it out on the table again. I'm going to cut that head in about half. And put it back on the uh, ladybug. And I'm going to 
take out just a little bit of baking bottle and put it on the bottom of the um ladybug, just a little dab. And put it onto the leaf. Now I'm going to take um, a sculpting tool and I want to define the ladybug a little bit. So I'm going to put a line down his back or her back. To define the, uh, her wings a little bit. And then I'm going to take the back of a um, paintbrush, this is a paintbrush here, and I'm going to put in little dots to define the spots on her back, like that. And I want them to be the spots to be fairly symmetrical. And so there's going to be four, four dots. And what will happen is when I put the bronzing on, if I'm, if I'm careful, the bronze won't get down into the, into the um, spots I just put on. So they'll be black, and the rest of the dragon fire will be uh, will be bronze. So that's the plan. Now I'm going to get a paintbrush and paintbrush like this, and a little bit of water. I'm going to get my paintbrush kind of wet. And I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. It's okay to use alcohol too, but I don't have any handy right now, so I'm kind of just smoothing it with water. This will help to remove fingerprints also. And it'll help to clean the glue off uh, the adhesive off the dragon, oh, I'm calling it a dragon fly, oh, ladybug. It's early in the morning. <laughs> That's my excuse. I, uh, I was, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on dragonfly pretty soon. I did one uh, a couple years ago um, that's on the channel here. He's on a rock. And I want to do something similar again. And I made one the other day. Um, actually, let me show it to you. He's sitting on a leaf. Kind of like this one. Sometimes I have to practice, you know, to um, come up with designs. So that's something that we might be doing in the near future. So you, what you can do is look at the leaf from different angles in the light to see the imperfections and then just smooth it out. You know, a lot of the time I, when I sculpt, I leave everything, um, all the sculpting marks in, but sometimes it's just nice to have a very nice smooth um, piece that you're working on.
but I like water because um, it provides more resistance than alcohol does and uh, it can be more effective actually. You don't want to like get it soaking, soaking wet, but um, definitely enough to uh, let the brush slide on it pretty well. So what I do is I get the water on the brush and I dab off, dab off the excess water and then brush it on. And then, you know, just be careful about touching your work because, uh, you know, fingerprints can develop pretty easily on the leaf. So I'm just, I'm just kind of handling it from the, from the back. And it dries. I mean, as long as you're not getting it soaking, soaking wet, it dries fairly quickly. And then when it is dry, we'll put the bronze on and the colors and all that. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of wire. We're gonna be using uh, copper wire. I'm gonna cut off, this is um, made by Beadsmith. It's uh, craft wire. I'm going to cut off a couple inches here. We're going to make some antenna for the, uh, for the uh, ladybug. And then what I'm going to do is take a um, pair of beading pliers. These cost about $10, by the way. You can get them at beadsmith.com or you can get them at most bead stores. I'm going to take the end like that hoping it will focus and uh, turn it like that and one on the other end too like that It just makes it easier to handle if I'm uh, holding it, doing it on either end like that. I'm going to cut it off so it's about half inch long. Like that. You want to watch that flying wire. And then, uh, just gonna stick it in the head like that. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to take um, a little bit, I'm going to get the brush wet, a little wet, and dab off the excess water from the brush. Get a little bit of bronze on it. Dab off the excess bronze from the brush. And then I'm going to just paint the uh, the ladybug. I'm going to try to avoid the head of it. So I'm not trying to get it down into the uh, holes. So they'll stay black.
so it looks like that. Then um, I'm going to clean my brush off. I've got a rag in my lap here. I'll clean the brush off. And I'm going to take some green, and this is spring green, pearl ice pigments. Get a little bit on the brush, put it in the lid, and then work from the lid. And I'm going to dab it off the brush so it's not, um, you know, really heavy. And then brush it on. I'm kind of looking for a subdued look. I'm just pulling it out of there, pulling it off of the uh, ladybug. And then uh, I'm going to get the uh, the other side of the leaf as well. And there we go. Now, uh, just touch it. You can touch it up if you need to. I'm going to clean my brush again, get a little bit of bronze on it, dab off the excess, and just touch up the, the ladybug a little bit, make them a little bit brighter. And then if you look in the video description down below the video, you're going to find a tool and supply list with all the things that we use today. Um, and uh, clay baking instructions on how to bake the um, bake your uh, sculpture. Um, you also find uh, two smoothing videos on how to smooth polymer clay, um, and um, or you can just follow the instructions from the video that we did with the water and the brush. And um, and then we'll come back in a moment after we uh, bake it. Okay, we're back, and here is our artsy ladybug on a leaf sculpture. Uh, this is a design uh, that is uh, copyrighted and uh, use it all you want for learning, but it is a copyrighted design, uh, as is with all the designs that uh, I show how to make here on my channel. Um, and uh, if you like this kind of uh, content, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of the video and uh, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment and if you have an idea for a video, um, let me know what you think. Uh, this actually was a request, a ladybug, uh, how to make a ladybug was a request from somebody that watches my videos. And, um, so that's why I actually made this today. Um, and um, uh, I have many, many videos. I have uh, nearly 700 videos now on all kinds of subjects, uh, especially polymer clay and fairies and animals and figures and fairy houses and trees and all kinds of things. Um, I also do um, tutorials on sculpting and self-hardening clay, air dry clay, uh, wire, um, so it's really quite a wide variety of um, tutorials on my channel, so please feel free to subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching, be creative, have fun, and have a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you.